sit tight and enjoy. Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Today's video is gonna be absolutely bonkers and it is a special liquidation double whammy video. So I'm giving you guys a second video here in San Antonio to bring you guys with the data an additional community that is experiencing absolutely massive liquidation style price cuts. And right now I'm actually on a top of a hill overlooking this entire community. So I really hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna package everything up nice and neat so that we use the data to figure out just how great a deals are in this community right now. But let me kind of pan around so you guys can see. There is so much building here right now, y'all. There is so much building here right now. And overall, San Antonio is definitely, definitely experiencing multiple red flags and multiple signs of a housing market crash, specifically in new construction. And that's exactly what we're gonna dig in today. But remember, you guys, I'm not a financial advisor. All of this stuff is just my opinion. And for my opinion, for all of this effort, for the boots on the ground, y'all, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and shoot me a comment below but either way we're gonna get this party started so y'all may be wondering where did I take you this time and where are these massive liquidation sales and prices happening the name of this community and I'll throw it up on the screen is hidden trails now the hidden trails ranges from 294,000 on up to five hundred and fifty thousand dollars and I'm gonna pan here just so you guys can kind of see some of the construction we have frame houses going up right behind us again this is in hidden trails massive price cuts, massive liquidation. We'll go over all the massive price cuts once we go over the data, once we go over 2022 numbers. But again, I just wanna pan around because this is a small section of Hidden Trail. So let me bring up the map right now so you guys know exactly where I'm at. So starting with downtown San Antonio, we're gonna go north on the 37 to the 281. And we're gonna follow the 281 all the way up here, all the way up to this general area right here. And you're gonna see that this area is, again, the Hidden Trails community. This is what we'll really, really jump into today, but I'm gonna give you guys a different scene as we go over the data from 2022. And remember, don't even step foot in a community like this until you empower yourself with the data. Because when you're in here, you need to have your eyes open and understand what sales are tricks and what sales are actually just from distressed home builders that are absolutely dooming anyone that purchased in 2022. Now, before I go into the data, let me tell you about what the current incentives are that Lennar is offering because it's absolutely unbelievable. But first, let me pan around so I can show you guys my scene. Now, this is one of the parks in Hidden Trails right here. Let me kind of keep panning so you guys can see Hidden Trails so you know that I'm actually here. Do y'all see how I go all out to get that shot? Y'all, just for that one shot, the, the amount of effort is just, it's just so crazy. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go over the Lennar incentives right now because it is an especially big deal. So everything we're about to talk about as far as prices, add the incentive on top of that. So let me throw it up on the screen. Now, as you guys can see here, until May 31st, Lennar is offering a 4.25 fixed interest rate and, you guys, and up to 30, thousand dollars off of the purchase price that is absolutely insane so a lot of massive incentives going on right now in this community as well as true price cuts now the way i'm going to provide you guys data so that we can figure out how in distress this community is is by doing a market analysis for specifically this subdivision for 2022 and i keep the comps and the data specific to this subdivision because real estate is about hyper local areas and the value is generally determined by sold property so i'm going to throw up a market analysis for 2022 now, as you guys can see here in 2022 in hidden trails alone there was 80 total properties sold in 2022. Now, as we can see here, the average price per square foot, and again, this is very important. And to all the haters, I understand there's many ways to determine value. This is just a baseline. This is gonna tell us whether or not this is real and whether or not to do additional research on the biggest financial transaction 
of our lives. So remember, in 2022, the average price per square foot was $205. So now that we've enlightened ourselves, now that we're aware, let's move on to the fun stuff, which is active price cuts. Y'all may have jumped the gun a little bit. I was so excited to get to the price cuts, I forgot to give you guys all of the information on the current inventory here at Hidden Trails. So I'll go over the existing inventory, but what I want you to know is I'm only going off of MLS. When I go to Lennar's website, they have, actually, they have almost double the houses listed on their website versus what's listed on MLS. And obviously that leads to something that we call shadow inventory. And right now, guys, as I'm going over inventory, I want you to know that I'm, ba that I'm walking down a street where both sides of the street appear to be spec homes or homes that are almost complete with the construction that are basically ready to be sold. But let's go over some stats on the active inventory right now in Hidden Trail. So as you can see right now, the minimum amount of spec homes that they have here are 24. So right now we have 24 spec homes. Now what I want to point out is how many of the listings of the 24 listings are listing the property for under 2022 averages. And as you guys can see here, there's a total of eight homes. That's just what's listed on MLS. So eight of the 24 homes are already being listed for under that 2022 value. And that represents another San Antonio community where 33% of the active listings are listed for under 2022 values. And you guys are probably starting to see now how some of these price cuts can really start affecting the prices of resale properties. And don't forget you guys, one of the primary reasons that I stick with showing you new construction is, is generally new construction leads the way for everything essentially. So really, really important to understand what's going on with new construction. I'm gonna go up here guys real quick and I'm gonna pan around so you can see these houses because it goes way down. So a couple of the houses here, right? I'm trying to stay out of the picture. Everyone's like, oh, you got an ego. You're in the picture. It's like, no, I have to stay in the picture so I can see what you guys are seeing. So that's some of the houses right there. Now this community is a little bit nicer than the last San Antonio community that I showed you. And I wanted to do that on purpose because the last community had super tiny houses. They look literally look like garages, like people living in a garage. But either way, now that we're over all the data, let's go into some of the juicy price cuts right now. Price cut time. Now the sad truth about the price cuts is someone else has to lose in order for us to win. And that's a lot of the reason why I've been so passionate about ringing the bell and sounding the alarm so y'all don't have to lose at the expense of making me win but regardless we are gonna go over price cuts and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on the screen some active MLS listings that have substantial price cuts and I also want to point out that I am walking down another street where various stages of construction is going on so I'll be showing you guys that throughout this segment so let me throw up the first comparable now as you guys can see this was price cut down to 300 basically $360,000 from $408,000. Now that's a price cut y'all of $48,000 or 11.7% off of the listing price. Let's compare the square footage now to see what the house is selling for based on 2022 square footage. And remember it's at 205 a square foot. Now to break this down per square footage, this is $188.48 a square foot. And what that means is, is this house is listed for 8.1% under 2022 values. But here's the thing you guys, remember Lennar's offering a ridiculous buying incentive right now. So when you throw another $30,000 on top of it, it makes it even bigger and even stronger case of liquidity sales price. Now let me throw up another listing where it shows a hundred thousand dollar price cut. So as you guys can see this is another active MLS listing. Now this was price cut down to four hundred forty thousand from five hundred forty four thousand dollars. That represents a price cut y'all of a hundred and four thousand dollars. That represents 19% off of the initial listing price. So a substantial drop in listing price. Now let's compare it to 2022 averages. Now per square foot, this house is selling for $185.52 a square foot. 9.6% under you guys, under 2022 values. And when we add that $30,000 buying incentive on top of all of this, it really potentially hurts any of the people that purchased at a different price per square foot in 2022. But let me pull up one more listing. Again, active listing. Lennar has even more listings on their website. So here's the third listing. 
You guys can see this was reduced down to $450,000. That was up from $526,000. Now, that represents a price cut of $76,000 or 14.4% off of the initial list price. Now, as far as price per square foot, you guys are gonna freak out. This house is selling for $148.59 a square foot. Listen very carefully. Before the $30,000 buying incentive, this house represents a 27% reduction of price per square foot when we compare it to 2022. Again, you guys, 27% off peak. So what happens when we add that $30,000 on top of that? So tell me, how are these new builders not in distress? How are these prices not representation of liquidation? Tell me that, because it's wrecking everyone, you guys. There is very little demand. Look at all these houses since I've been walking up the street. All of these houses, and I'll pan around so you guys can see you know, how far it goes. And it goes far, you know, you see that? And I'm walking up from a, a giant parcel of land and I'll do my next shot over on that parcel of land. But you guys, you guys see what I'm saying? These price cuts are real price cuts. This is liquidation. If you guys are interested in fi potentially finding the deal of your dreams and you're in San Antonio, I would personally keep my eyes on a community just like this. Obviously, we found some amazing liquidation prices on these houses. But now let's talk about the rental market so I can give you guys an idea of what it costs per square foot as far as to rent here. But before I do that, look at all of the construction. Now there's multiple communities here. It's not just hidden trails. There is so much building going on here right now, multiple developments. I don't know why they're doing this, y'all. Normally they phase it out which basically means they don't start a new phase or they don't start new construction until all of the houses that they do have are sold. But they can't even sell the houses that they do have, so I just don't get it. They are so overexposed. You know, one of the things I could think of is, you know, they have deadlines on their financing, so they have no choice but to keep construction going. But let me do something else, guys. I'm gonna give you a market analysis for hidden trails as far as the rental market in 2022. Now, as y'all can see, there were a total of only six homes that were rented out during 2022. And what's really interesting is the price per square foot as far as what they were able to rent them out at was $117 a square foot. So overall, I would say the rental market here in San Antonio is not, on, is not in the best shape. You know, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's worse than Houston, but there's an awful lot of people, an awful lot of investors in certain zip codes here in San Antonio, over 50% of the homes went to investors. So there is an overwhelming amount of inventory as far as the rental market. I don't know that I would purchase a home at this price point to try to cash flow on that. One of the other properties that I visit in San Antonio that has, you know, smaller houses at a more affordable price point that are a lot easier to cash flow, I would consider. But something like this, y'all, you know, in my opinion, it's just too dangerous. There's still just too much building that needs to happen here. And I expect to see even more price cuts. And what I, and the other thing that I'm thinking is these people are banking on, you know, buying demand coming back this spring and summer. And as you all can see, that's probably not gonna happen. So in conclusion, new home builders are absolutely getting blindsided and rug pulled, whiplash, whatever you wanna say, as in San Antonio, as a result of all of the quantitative tightening. The rates going up like they did really doomed a lot of developers and a lot of builders. And I believe that the neighborhood that I'm in right now, the community of Hidden Trails, is one of those communities. Now obviously, as the prices continue to go down, it's going to potentially trap people in their house without an ability to sell or to refinance. You guys can see the sales office behind me. See that? So that's the sales office for Lennar behind me. Not sure who, you know, not sure what truck that is. So we didn't have anyone call the police on us this time. Can you guys believe that guy on the last community called the police on us? You know, how crazy is that? That they try to strong arm us when we're walking down a public street. And really y'all, the unfortunate thing about all this in San Antonio, the, the price is going down like this is again, in order for us to be a winner, a lot of these people have to be losers. So it's very unfortunate. But here's the thing guys, if you're on the sideline, just like I'm on the sideline, waiting for the opportunity of my life, lifetime this may be a really good area if you live in San Antonio as far as getting a deal of your dreams and also y'all don't forget the pitfalls of new construction 
quality of construction, make sure you get a home inspection, make sure you have representation because a lot of the people in Texas are not regulated the same ways as agents and loan officers and also typically higher property taxes. So remember those things when you go in to look at new communities and always bring representation. Do not go into these communities without representation and without the power of knowledge, which is the data. And other than that, credit, income, assets, mindset, love your life. If you're out there investing in real estate, I do wish you luck and I hope you win.